Let's get into this upcoming series preview. Um, it's just a two-game series, but the Pirates are facing the Tigers. They're going into Detroit to do so. This is um kind of kind of interesting. Now, what I'll say is thankfully for the the Pirates, they're missing on their better pitching. So Tariq Scooball looks amazing. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna face him. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. If you want this it team is. to continue rolling and winning, they're not facing yeah. him. So really, really good. But um, yeah, uh, this is like this is like an up and coming team that didn't up and come, so they kind of fired everyone, and so let's start this over again. So like, there's a lot of like prospects, failed prospects on this team. Um, there's also an old friend, Javi Baez, <laughs> who's really really bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, what do you make of this this series? I mean, they're six and three right now too. They're they're winning. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, I think there's a lot of similarities here between the way this Tigers team is constructed and the way the Pirates are, right? Uh, you've got you've got your young your young pitcher that you're kind of leaning on, right? And then for the Tigers, it's Scooble. For the Pirates, it's it's Keller, right? And, and they're not necessarily young, but you know they're they've been around for a bit, three years, but like they've they've arrived in the majors, right? Uh, and then you've got some 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 young guys, right? You could say Casey Mize. I mean, he was a first overall pick, former first overall pick. He hasn't really put it together because of injuries, but the Pirates will face him. Uh, and then they also face 24-year-old Reese Olsen, who had a pretty good start to his career last season. Uh, had a had a good uh, good first outing uh, this year. So they uh, they'll face Reese Olsen today. I haven't seen a whole lot of them, but I mean, last year in, in 18 starts, 399 ERA. Uh, his first start this season, he went five and two thirds scoreless. Not really much of a strikeout guy, it seems. But um, but yeah, I mean, he's he's had a pretty successful start to his major league career. Uh, so the Pirates, they will send out Keller and Perez. Keller's been been a little rough going this his first couple outings, but Perez has looked looked excellent. Uh, yeah, it should be a pretty. I, it, it should be a pretty even series, I think. Uh, offensively, Tigers have have some some young guys that that are pretty exciting. Like former first overall pick Spencer Torkelson uh, is there. Riley Green, former fifth overall pick. Uh, Colt Keith, another uh, guy who who made the team this year out of uh, spring training. One of their one of their top prospects. He's the he's a top fifty prospect in baseball. Uh, so yeah, some some young some young guys on this Tigers team who they're going to rely on to 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 do something this year. Uh, bullpen wise, pretty pretty strong bullpen too for the Tigers. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, there's a lot of parallels I think between these two teams. Uh, I think the Tigers went out there and and maybe added a few uh, more. You know, they added Maeda, they added Flaherty. I think those are two guys that the Pirates probably would have liked to have to have added uh, that the Tigers scooped up instead. But yeah, it's it's a pretty similar constructed squad, so should be good baseball. The Tigers are technically our interleague rivals, right? So we've got <laughs> that we've got that 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 just vaunted Pittsburgh Detroit baseball rivalry going on here. Uh, two game series. If you can take two here, hell, that that puts you to ten and two. Uh, it, but if I mean, I think you you you'd be happy taking one, you know, in this short two game series. But uh, yeah, right. so far they could take both. They could take both games for sure. Uh, I, I'm I, I said I I'm 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 curious to see this team. It's uh, I said a lo- lot of similarities. Yeah, I think that's a good. Fair assessment as far as like similarities, you know, but again, like we're missing out on their top pitching so that bodes better for the Pirates. But albeit like Mitch Keller, you look at is like the ace on this team. He's had his struggles. Martin Perez has looked good, but two veteran guys going in there. The offense has been decent for them, but like also like Spencer Torkelson was top prospect, right? He's he's struggled. You know, he's been like kind of up and down his career. He had a better season last year, but this year is off to a really, really poor start. Maybe that carries on over. Again, we talk about Javi Baez. He's been really, really bad. Just really, really bad. So, you know, there's enough holes in this lineup. Like, I feel like the Pirates are maybe a little more complete, if that makes sense. This one's a little bit of holes. 
Um, you know, again, they're facing like the, the the lower end of their pitching. Although, again, Casey Mize, we don't know what he has. Injuries has been really derailed his career. Like mm-hmm. he, he was a one-one overall. The talent's certainly there. Um, and then I guess like with the bullpen, yeah, it's been strong. But I'll say is with the bullpen, it goes they they do walk guys. And you mentioned like in Sunday what they didn't do right, but something they have done mostly for this season. They get back to it, is that they can capitalize on guys on running like, scoring position. Right. I mean, this team, the Pirates are about average team right now with guys in scoring position. Um, if they can capitalize on doing that, right, if they're if they're able to draw walks with again, like that's the thing the Pirates can do. They can absolutely draw walks. We've yeah. seen <laughs> the way this team approaches the plate. They can draw walks. So, like, if they can capitalize on some mistakes, right, get some guys to run a scoring position and actually score them this time, I think that will definitely bode well for the Pirates. Yeah, I think you can tell that that's kind of the Pirates recipe right now, like what they're trying to do at the plate. They're trying to make you throw a lot of pitches. They're trying to clog up the base paths. They're trying to put pressure on these pitchers. And and so far it's working, right? I mean, they're eight and two, yeah. so you can't say that this this isn't working. Um, I, I they, they flashed a stat on the broadcast either yesterday or the day before. The Pirates lead the majors in opposing pitches seen, right? So... Uh, it by was like a hundred and eight, by the way, it was a huge, yeah, it was like 180 pitches. They're, they're making the opposing staff throw on average throughout the course of a game. So like when you do that, you get into teams, bullpens and teams, bullpens aren't good. Typically, like they have maybe a few people there on that back end, but most teams middle relief, not that great. So if you can get to them and you can get to them as early as possible, that's going to help your offense uh, substantially. And then also when, you, when you're when you playing like a three or a four game series, being able to do something like that on game one of a series, that puts you in an advantage going forward for those, for those next few games. Like if you can make a team expend bullpen capital early on in a series, that it's, it's only going to help you down the road. So yeah, it's been a really good recipe for success so far. I mean, the, the Pirates have been scoring runs uh, it's yeah. not like they're they're winning every game three to two like they won yesterday three to two but like for the most part this offense has been scoring uh and and getting into teams bullpens forcing starting pitchers to throw a lot of pitches it's been a it's been a it's been part of the recipe for sure for sure and, and again like with with manning i'm sorry manning with mize and olsen you know those guys that put people on base too so again like if this team the pirates can capitalize on that Definitely some success I can see. So I'll, I'll take a split. Just like you said, a split is absolutely fine. This team comes out of this going nine and three. I mean, come on, nine and three. So if they can. Yeah, you take both, that. You take that every take day. Both. A 10 and two Pirates team. Holy hell. So we'll find out. But uh, yeah, um, like you said, this is this is kind of an interesting um, two game series. And, and yeah, it's just like it, it, it is funny. The parallels between the Tigers and and the Pirates is just just kind of crazy. It's our <laughs> it's our rival, like you say. Yeah, but um, all right. So yeah, even down to even down to like the Tigers and Pirates, the, the the two top pitching prospects in baseball, Pirates and Tigers. Oh, like yeah, both, both yeah. guys who are just incredible stuff. And it's like, when are these guys going to get up to the majors? Like, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of similarities here. Right. Just hopefully not the similarity of the Pirates saying, you know what, this rebuild didn't work. We got to start fresh. Hoping there's no similarity there. But outside yeah. of that, for sure. 